So this video is about vending machines and how to get started in the vending machine business. So a few days ago, I made a TikTok showing me vending my first vending machine. The TikTok got a lot of attention and a lot of interest and I was getting a lot of questions and DMs of people asking me about how I got it. So I decided to make this video today just to show how I got it and answer some questions about it. I first want to talk about how I bought it. So I bought my machine off Gumtree and I paid 500 pounds for it. So when it comes to buying a machine, you really want to make sure that it's working perfectly because the thing with vending machines is because each one is different, if there is a problem with it, it can be hard getting people out to fix it. Also, you should always ask, does it take the new pound coin? And that's just if you're based in the UK like I am. But the next thing that I want to talk about is how I found the location for it and how I got into that location. So the first thing is actually choosing the location. When you're choosing the location, you're ideally looking for somewhere that has high foot traffic. Foot traffic just essentially means that it's a place that a lot of people will walk in and out. You can put them in schools, local businesses, mechanics, laundromats, places like those. There's a lot of ideal places that you can choose from. Once you have potential locations picked up, the next step is to approach those businesses. When you're approaching businesses, there are two methods that you can use. The first method is going in person. The second method is calling the business. Going in person is a great method because it helps to build a personal relationship right away and it shows that you're serious. However, calling is also a good method as well because it helps to save time and also benefits you if you don't drive. If you are going in person, it's quite useful to have business cards. It always looks more professional to leave a business card when they ask for your contact details. I picked these ones up off Vistaprint and I would highly recommend Vistaprint. The cards came looking good, they came quickly and the price was good too. When you ask places, whether it's in person or whether it's over the phone, you should never be afraid of rejection. So when I was approaching businesses, I got numerous rejection. It's very, very important never to give up because all you need is one yes and it's always sooner than you think. So when you're approaching your business, you need to have a pitch. You don't need to overcomplicate it. All you need to do is just get the general message across. So normally the first thing you would do is you actually find out do they have any vending machines. So you just simply go in and see yourself or if you're on the phone, you would ask them. So when you approach the business or when you call the business, the first thing you'll do is to ask to speak to your manager. In most cases, they'll ask you, what's it about? And you can just say, I wanted to find out if there's any interest in taking in a vending machine. Sometimes there is no manager present and they will pass their message on. If you're in person, this is when it's best to leave your business card. So if the business says yes, you'll often have to talk about commission. Ideally, you want to offer between 10 and 15% commission. However, sometimes when it's your first deal, you might have to push it to a 20. After all that is sorted, you can then move to bring it in. Vending machines are often quite heavy and difficult to move. So what I did was I paid someone to move it for me. Paying someone to move is only a one-off investment, so it's quite worthwhile. So once the vending machine is actually in place, the next thing to do is to stock it. Ideally, you want to be able to stock your products for as cheap as possible to maximize profit. So personally, I buy my stock from my local wholesalers, which helps me get the stock for a retail price, meaning that I can make more profit on it. So in terms of stock, you can visit your local wholesalers. Also, you'd be surprised, but you can even go to home bargains. Home bargains sometimes sell things so cheap that you can actually make a profit on it if you were to resell it. But please note, make sure that there's no label on the product saying multi-pack, not to be sold separately. It's an easily avoidable mistake and you just want to avoid getting into things like that. So that's it for today. I hope you all found that video helpful. And if you did enjoy it, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. I'll be posting plenty of more content and I'd like you all to stay tuned with it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And also, I just want to thank everybody for watching. I really, really appreciate it, and it means a lot to me.